Yo, what's going on guys? It is Toxico Serial back again and I just wanted to start off by saying Merry Christmas. Even though this video is not going to be posted on Christmas, it's going to be posted the day after Christmas. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. And the video I posted on Christmas Eve of ranking the best skin went crazy right now. At, at the moment, it's sitting at about 680 views, but obviously it's going to be posted tomorrow, so it might surpass over a thousand views and it's also gave me 50 plus watch hours which thank you guys i'm getting an average view duration for of about four to five minutes which is actually crazy that is way above average on any other view so i thought it'd be funny to do another video but instead of ranking the best skin we're just going to rank the worst skin. now i expect this video not to do very well because let's be real nobody cares about the worst skin it's a garbage skin that honestly can be thrown out the trash so I thought it'd be funny just to do a worse skin. Might as well. This video is probably going to be even shorter because nobody needs to get in deal, in, in detail, sorry, than the best skins and why it's the best skin. It's the worst skin because the skin is garbage compared to the rest of the skins or it just has something that completely ruins the skin for me. Now, to Mayfair, we can't rank the worst skin as the default skin, any true silver or gold skin or any of the sports skins like Shelly's 3, Primo's 3, and then Colt's 4 and the Dynamite 3. We can't do those. We can include like PSG Shelly or Coach Mike. That's fine. But none of the sports ones because, let's be real, nobody uses those skins. So starting off with Shelly, I got to pick Bandita Shelly. It's the only one that really just, I mean, it's not a bad skin overall, but it just is not as good as the rest of her skins. So I think that one's a pretty easy one. Nita is also an easy one. I'm going to have to pick Panda. Nah, actually, yeah, Panda Nita. It's, it's okay. Bruce be looking up fine. Well, I don't mention what a koala needed. This one is a 79 gem skin. It literally doesn't do... Actually, I'm going to pick this one as the worst skin because, let's be real, it just it's a reskin of Nita. Bruce, don't even look that cool. It's a 79 gem skin. That's a waste of your gems. Now, for Colt, it's easy for me. It has to be um, Outlaw Colt. It's literally just a reskinned Colt that's not that great. Or Rockstar Colt. Either one is really bad. Uh, for Bull... Another pretty easy one for me it has to be either the touchdown bowl or the line or the linebacker bowl, which I don't even have. They both are equally as trash, and don't buy them; they're garbage. For Brock, it has to be another easy one: the boombox Brock skin. This skin is awful. I got the skin from a legendary star drop. I wanted to cry. That skin is absolutely terrible. For Primo, Primo it's kind of hard. Primo has some really good skins. If I had to pick, probably gonna be. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I'm probably going to pick Ellie Tomiko. I feel like it just has the weakest things, and I think it's 149 gem skin. I don't know, but that's probably my least favorite. It's okay, though. For Barley, it's a pretty easy one. Red Wizard Barley. Do not buy this skin. Literally, the blue variant is a free Super Soul Make skin. Don't ever buy this skin. For Poco, it's pretty easy, too. It's going to be... I can't, I can't get it, but it's Star Poco, or Poco Star. That skin is... Oh, no, actually, no, my fault. It's not that one. It's Pirate Poco. Pirate Poco is complete garbage. I don't have it because it's a limited skin, but it's also garbage. This one's also not that great either, but Poco, do not buy freaking Pirate Poco. That skin is complete dog water. And for Rosa, for the least, hmm, I don't know. I'm probably going to pick Major Rosa, the one I have right now. I'll be honest, Rosa really doesn't have a bad skin. You can argue Cheerleader Rosa, but I kind of like this skin. Honestly, Rosa doesn't have a bad skin. It's either between your Major Rosa or probably Brawloween, but I'm going to pick Major Rosa because it doesn't have a custom effect, but it's not a bad skin overall. Moving on to the Super Rares, Jesse. I'm going to have to pick Red Dragon Jesse. I can't show it because it's an exclusive skin, but that skin just offers really nothing good about it. Dynamite, the worst skin. I'm going to have to say... I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick Spicy Mike. I'm not a big fan of this skin. It's kind of pricey if you ask me. It's not the coolest skin. It's okay, though. Some might argue Robo Mike, but a lot of people like the skin. A lot of people hate it. It doesn't matter. It's your opinion for the Robo Mike. I like it. Tick, it's the one I'm wearing right now. King Crab Tick is probably the worst. It's, I mean, I'm okay with the skin, but it just doesn't offer the coolest effects compared to the other Tick skins. For 8-Bit, it's pretty easy. It's definitely the 8-Bit Classic. Even though it's a pretty good 29 gem skin, it just can't compete with the other 8-Bit skins. For Rico... I got to pick, uh, I don't know, I'm going to pick Popcorn Rico. I know there's Ricochet, but that's an exclusive skin, and it's very special skin. 
skin for oh my god i can't speak proper english it's a special skin for some people this skin isn't bad but it just doesn't have the coolest effects compared to his other skins you can also argue firefly rico it's kind of an ugly looking skin but also guard rico can be for some people but i like this skin for daryl uh it's gonna be mascot daryl or nobody likes this skin i think this skin is okay but it's just not that great of a skin for penny i'm gonna pick I'm going to pick a little helper. I don't have that skin. But a lot of Penny skins are actually pretty good. I really like Smuggler Penny, my favorite skin. And I put it as the best skin. Penny has okay skins overall. I think Little Helper is probably the worst one. For Carl, Carl has some pretty okay skins. He's got a couple of bad ones. I'm going to pick just the Goblin Carl because it has no effects. It's okay, 29 gem skin, but it's kind of weird. For Jackie, I think it's no competition. It's going to be Constructor Jackie, the only 29 gem skin. Not a good skin in the slightest. <laughs> Just a reskin. All of other Jackie skins are really good. And then Gust, it's going to have to be the, the Boy Scout one because it literally only has two skins and you can't pick World Champion Gust. Moving on to the Epic Rollers, Bo. Obviously, Mecha Bo. This is a waste of your gems. Do not buy this skin. There is no purpose. And then for M's, M's, I'm going to pick Mean Girl M's. Even though it's a reskin for college M's, this skin is trash still. And then Stu, I have to pick Superstar naturally because all the rest of his skins are way too good. For Piper, I'm going to have to pick, I think, I forgot what the name, I think it's called Calavera Piper, the ugly one. I, I would honestly pick Pink Piper over Calavera Piper because Calavera Piper, the Halloween one, it's just not, it doesn't fit Piper in my opinion. For Pam, it has to be Holiday Pam, unfortunately, because the other Pam skins are way too good. For Big Chungus, Caveman Frank is just a trash can of a skin. Don't buy the skin, it's useless. For BB, I'm going to pick... BB has three terrible skins. This one right here, Bibelante, garbage. And then she also has... Uh, the other... Uh, I forget what the other one is. I, I don't know, but I think Bibelante is the worst one by far. BB <laughs> has a couple of really bad skins. B Ladybug B is definitely the worst one because the other three B, the other three B skins four actually you can't compete with. Nani the worst skin my favorite brawler gonna be Retro Nani because you can't compete with any of her other skins unfortunately even though it's a pretty good 29 gem skin. Edgar Edgar Tata no question here this skin is trash don't buy it please it's not very good it does not look good on Edgar. Griff the absolute monstrosity in Slayer Griff. Oh my god, it's laggy. I can't even open it. This skin, it's just so creepy. It just doesn't fit. It's just weird. It's weird. Don't get that skin. Grom, gotta be Bunny Grom. because he, It's a good skin, but he can't compete with the other two Grom skins. What the hell? I mean, this is a good Grom skin. Just It's just not as good as the other two Grom skins. Bonnie, uh, pff, either one. Unicorn Bonnie or Foot Bonnie. Not saying that Amphrit's Bonnie is a great 149 gem skin, but it's way better than these two skins i don't know which one you would prefer i think foot bonnie is a little bit better than the other one moving on to gale the worst one by far has to be merchant gale can't compete for colette the worst one is probably uh, i don't know i want i have to say navigator colette even though i put that as my favorite skin in one of the videos but obviously inspector colette didn't exist at the time i can't put trixie colette it's too good of a brawl pass skin so i have to put Na navigator colette for bell I'm going to have to say the, the Brawl Pass one's the worst one, because I really like Ivy Bell, and Coral Bell is also really good. But it's a tough choice for Bell, because Bell has three really good skins. Ash, the worst one, has to be Ninja Ash. I'm not a fan of it. It just, his other three skins are too better. You could probably argue Krampus Ash too, but honestly, this skin is underrated for 79 gems. But uh, it's definitely not, it's definitely not Pinata Ash. It's the greatest skin of all time. I'm kidding about that part. Lola? I'm going to have to pick her new one. I'm not a big fan of this one at all. It just looked, isn't, I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of ugly. No, I lied. I lied. No, 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 no. I lied. It's the, it's the, what's it called? Oh, the lavish Lola skin. Sorry. That skin is terrible. The ugliest reskin. So I caught the, I caught my mistake there. Sam, got to pick Sam the Teddy, but it's a really good skin. Sam has got good skins overall. Mandy, got to pick MC Mandy because you can't compete with Hambach Mandy or Magma Mandy. For Maisie, gotta be Tech Maisie because it's the 29 gem skin and the other two Maisie skins are way too good. Hank only has one skin. Oh no, I lied. I'm stupid. I forgot about Rodeo Hank. And then yeah, obviously Shark Tank Hank being the worst. Pearl, gotta be whatever this one is, Vintage Pearl because you can't compete with Periscope. And then going on to Mythic now, Mortis has some ugly skins. Nightwish Mortis though is the worst. I got this from a legendary Star Drop. I wanted to cry because this skin sucks. 
Uh, for Terra, I gotta pick Stara because you can't compete with the rest of the Terra skins. They're way too good. For Jean, I have to pick freaking Pirate Jean. I can't even, I forgot it's exclusive. The Pirate Jean is complete dog water. Don't get it. Max, no no questions here. This trash can of a 29 gem skin, it literally looks worse than her default skin. Never buy it. Mr. P, unfortunately, being one of the, probably the arguably the best 29 gem skin because it has a remodel of the porters, has to be the worst because Mr. P's other three skins are simply too good. Sprout, I'm going to have to pick Tropical Sprout. I'm sorry, Chief Pat. I know you're a good YouTuber even though you don't upload anymore. It can't compete with the other Sprout skins. For Byron, ah, I don't know. This is this is probably the hardest one because Byron has three really good skins. I have to pick Wizard Byron because I like Overlord Byron a lot, and then Ringmaster Byron is also a good skin. But trust me, I'm not happy when I say Wizard Byron is the worst because Byron has three good skins. Squeak, easy one for me anyway. Potato Squeak, it's just too cringy in my opinion and doesn't really. It's just a weird skin overall. Uh, for Lou, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. I'm actually gonna pick King Lou because Smooth Lou is also not the greatest, and I can't pick the other two Lou skins, so I have to pick King Lou naturally. Colonel Ruffs, the worst one's got to be Marshall Ruffs. I never see anybody use this skin. I just don't think it's really worth it. It doesn't. It fits him, but it's just nobody really plays Ruffs. So for Buzz, I'm picking Buzzette because it's I'm a Buzzette hater. Even though the skin is fine overall, I just have to pick it. But I'm not saying it's a bad skin. Fang, uh, it's going to be the new one that's coming out. It's the remodel. I think it's Ferocious Fang. But that skin is just a remake of this one. And the color scheme is ugly as hell. So don't buy it. Eve, it's going to be Spiky Eve because the only other skin is Baiku. Janet, the worst one is Eve. Oh, yeah. Easily a G-Force because Janet's other four skins are some of the best skins of the game. Otis has to be Pharaoh Otis. It's just not the greatest skin. And once it gets its remodel because it's gonna get one i'm pretty sure oh, it's just not gonna look very good but uh oni otis is really too way too good and w otis the new one is also a good one buster gotta pick the brawl pass one it's either that or crack buster and i put crack buster as the best so it means chainsaw is automatically the worst gray is gonna be the runaway gray skin because the other two gray skins are way too good rt has to be patrol rt even though it's a pretty good 29 gem skin but he only has two skins and crimson rt is really hard to compete with Willow is obviously Axel Willow because he gets either that or Scorpion Willow. And Scorpion Willow is actually one of the better 79 gem skins. Doug only has Draco Doug, so it's the best and the worst. Naturally, same thing with Chuck, with Inferno Chuck. It's the best and the worst. Moving on to Charlie. Has to be Amazing Charlie because Rosie Charlie. Even though I like Amazing Charlie a lot, Rosie Charlie is the Brawl Pass skin and a lot of people like it. Even though I like Amazing Charlie better. And then Miko has the... Uh, Obviously, the worst one being Macaron, because you can't put Grouch in the new Wukong. Spike is a tough one, probably, because he's got a lot of skins. i say the worst one has to be Max Spike, unfortunately, because you can't compete with the other Spike skins. But I'm not happy about it, because, again, it's a good 29 gem skin. Crow, for me, easy choice. Mecha Crow, a waste of your gems. Never buy it. Leon has some pretty good skins. I think the worst is probably going to be Leon the Stray, because it just can't compete with the other Leon skins. But I'm not saying it's a bad 29 jump skin. Sandy is going to be Sleepy Sandy because it can't compete with the other Sandy skins. A lot of these just can't compete with the other skins. Amber, Amber de la Vega because you can't compete with one of the best skins. Arguably the best skin in Frost Queen, Amber. Meg, I'm going to have to pick... going to have to pick Beetle because the uh, Jungle Queen, or for whatever the other Meg skin, the Power League one, I forgot what it's called. Monster Truck Meg isn't a bad one either, but Mega Down is way too good. So I have to pick Beetle Meg naturally. Surge, ugh. I have to pick Do It Yourself because I can't pick the Brawl Pass one. It has some good effects. Do It Yourself, though, is also a really good one. I can't pick Surge Kong. And I also can't pick Kraken Surge because it's from Super Zone Make. Chester, obviously Dark Chester because Wood Spirit Chester is way too good. And then the final Brawler, Cordelius, going to have to be Poison Cap Cordelius because you can't compete with the other two Cordelius skins. It doesn't matter. Wow, that was a quick video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again... Thank you for all the videos on the previous video. I hope this one does as well as the other one. I doubt it, but if you stuck to the end, I appreciate it. Thank you, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas.